Hello, friends. I'm just sorting some of my pom-poms into rainbow colors. Wait, I have an idea. I'll give you 30 seconds to grab, see, some markers or some blocks or anything that you're allowed to sort into colors that's in your house. Okay, ready, set, go. Okay, now that we all have some colors to sort, let's sort them. I'm gonna start with a red, a red pom-pom. And next I'm gonna find an orange. If you have something orange, find something orange. And next, a yellow. If you have something yellow, find your yellow thing. I'm just gonna line mine up. Next, I'm gonna look for something green. Now, this is my green pom-pom. You might not be able to see it, but it is there. And I'm gonna put it down. And blue, if you can find something blue, add it to your row of colors. And last but not least, I'm gonna look for something, a pom-pom which is purple. And if you have something purple at home, find your purple thing, and I'm gonna line it up. Look, we made a rainbow, friends. That's amazing. And I also, in my cupboard, I have lots of different colors of crepe paper. So I'm gonna line these up. I have red, orange, that one's stuck together yellow, and again, you might not see this green, but I'm holding green crepe paper in my hand for part of my rainbow. A blue, here's my blue crepe paper, and a purple. And now we have two rainbows in front of us. That was so fun. Thanks for helping me sort colors. God always loves us. He sent the rainbow to remind us of a special promise he made to us and to Noah. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna show you a picture of a rainbow that I saw a while ago. This is a picture of a rainbow I saw when I was coming home from Richmond and I was driving through the tunnel and there was a little bit of rain, a little bit of sunshine and right over the field there was a beautiful rainbow so I stopped and took a picture. Think about a time that you've seen a rainbow. God always loves us. He told Noah to make a big boat to hold his family and two of every kind of animal. What kind of animals would you want to join you on a boat? Let's see what kind of animals we have here. I have a giraffe, like Savannah. We have an elephant, a camel, a sheep, a hippo, and we also have a swan, a horse, a lion, a monkey, and even a bat. Not my favorite. But guess what? God had two of every single kind of animal. Let's find out today's Bible point. It's the same one that we've been saying for the last three weeks. God always loves us. Just like we've done when you hear the words, God always loves us, I want you to open your hands and say, wow, God, 
Let's try that. God always loves us. Wow, God. God is with us when things are new or scary. Let's say something together. I need you to do what I do. There's no need to fuss. God's love is with us. God always loves us. Wow, God. Let's try that one more time. And I need your help with the actions. There's no need to fuss. God's love is with us. God always loves us. Wow, God. Great job. Now it's time to talk to our friend, Buzzley B. Buzzley will show us what Savannah has to teach us today. Let's call for Buzzley. I have a special friend today to help me do that, but I still need you at home to make a buzzing sound and flap your arms like a bee. Ready? Bzzz. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. Cover your eyes, then take a peek. Can you see Buzzly Bee? Hi, Buzzly Bzzz. Hi, kids. I'm Buzzly Bee, your buddy. Believe me, I'm so happy to see you today. <laughs> if you're happy, buzz like a bee and smile like me. Ready? One, two, three, buzz. <laughs> I can't wait for you to meet my Bible buddy. Her name is Savannah, and she's a tall giraffe. Can you raise your hand really high and wave hello? Hello, Savannah! Hello, friends. You're right. My name is Savannah, and I'm a giraffe. Seeing you is so refreshing. Do you know what else is refreshing? A nice, cool drink of water. Ah. I don't have a water fountain where I live, so when I'm thirsty, I go get a drink at the watering hole. I have to stretch way down low for a drink, and my knees don't really bend very well. I'm a little wobbly. It's a good thing I have friends around to watch out for me when I'm getting a drink. Do you have friends who watch out for you? When friends watch out for you, they're showing you God's love. In the Bible, book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 18, it says, And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide how long, how high, and how deep his love is. In the Bible, we read about a man who was close friends with God. His name was Noah. God told Noah to build a boat big enough to hold two of every kind of animal. Talk about a lot of animal friends in one place. God sent a flood to wash away everything he'd created but he kept Noah and his family safe. God took care of the animals on the boat, too. When the flood was over, God gave the world a fresh start, and he promised to never fill up the world with water again. Sometimes we need a fresh start, too. We need to say, I'm sorry, and will you forgive me? Even when we make a mess, God always loves us. God sent Jesus to forgive us and be our forever friend. That's such good news. It means God always loves us. Let's tell Buzzley B the great news. We'll say God always loves us. Together, on the count of three. One, two, three. God always loves us. Wow, God, it's totally true. Believe me. God loves you, and you, and you. It's time for me to buzz away. Don't forget, God loves you each and every day. Let's wave goodbye. Bye, friends. Bye, Buzzly. Okay, now let's say our Bible memory verse together. Let's say it. And may you have 
the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep God's love is. And if you remember, that verse is from the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 18. Now I'm going to ask Stephen to put our Bible memory buddy poster on the screen and let's see the verse again and see if you can do the actions all by yourself. Ready? And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep God's love is. Okay, great job, friends. God's love for us is deeper and wider than the water that flooded the whole earth. God always loves us. Wow, God! And his love protects us and cares for us just as it did for Noah. Let's celebrate with a song. Come on, clap your hands. Here we go. That's it. friends, today our Bible story tells about a man named Noah and a big flood. A flood happens when the ground is covered with water. God sent a flood to wash away sin. Sin happens when we choose our way instead of God's way. Sin messed up God's world, and God does not like sin because it hurts our friendship with him. He wanted to get rid of sin. God's friend Noah chose to go God's way. The Bible says that he was righteous. That means that what he did was right and he stayed close to God. 
When the flood came, God kept Noah and his family and two of every kind of animal safe by bringing them on the big boat before the earth was covered with water. Wow, God! God told Noah exactly how to make the big boat that could hold all of his family members and two of each kind of animal. Let's pretend to build a big boat. I want you guys to start chopping down trees. Pretend to chop down some trees. And now gather all of the wood that you chopped and carry it over to an empty space where you can start making your boat. Next, I want you to pick up your hammer and take some nails and start nailing your boat together. And finally, I want you to climb a ladder to get onto your boat. Great job, guys. God always loves us. Wow, God. He loved Noah and his family and protected them from the water. Now, we're on our boat, so get ready. We're going to be floating on some big waves. Ah, let me get ready. I can. Ah. There we go. Oh, my bad. Wrong kind of boat. Now, it got really rainy and wet. I want you guys to make some rain sounds like this. And now, show how Noah and his family may have reacted to a big storm. Maybe they were shocked or a little bit scared. Who knows? The Bible says that it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. When it stopped raining, the whole whole earth was covered in water, even the tops of the mountains. We're going to take our water fabric here and cover our earth. Noah's family and the animals waited on the boat for months and months. God kept them safe the whole time because God always loves us. Wow, God! Now, let's read about how they all knew that it was okay to leave the boat. We're going to read Genesis chapter 8, verse 12. Noah waited seven more days. Then he sent the dove out again, but this time it did not return to him. Let's pretend that we're all doves flapping our arms. And Noah and his family knew that they could leave the boat because the dove had found land. Let's cheer and show excitement about leaving the boat. Pretend to be animals and people leaving the boat and shout, Thank you, God, as you move. God made a promise to Noah and to us. After the storm, God sent a rainbow and promised to never again wash away sin with a flood. God doesn't want sin to keep us away from him. He sent Jesus to wash away our sins so we can be close to God again. Let's pray and thank Jesus for loving us and for being our friend. Pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for loving each one of us, for loving each one of the children who are watching. God, I thank you for beautiful rainbows in the sky, and I thank you that you keep your promises. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, because of our friend Jesus, we can always be close to God. God always loves us. Wow, God. Thanks for watching today, friends. Let's wave goodbye to Savannah. Bye, Savannah.